Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to just quickly show you how to upload media and incorporate it in your uh, in your posts and web pages, uh, and then we'll get into some customization, um, theme customization sorts of things. Just quickly, uh, let's go and uh, we'll create a new post and we'll incorporate an image in that. Um, <coughs> Create a new post, a post with a picture. Okay, an image from our last vacation. Okay, and then uh, we're going to to add media. And then you notice it, it brings up, I can either click to select files using a, a file browser, which you're probably familiar with, and I'm just going to uh, bring something up just random here <laughs> and uh, open it. What it did here is it brought this up and added it to my media library and um, I have the opportunity to actually enter some additional da data here. Uh, and I'm going to just copy control C control V uh, the reason that we fill these in is because search engines see this and so if I want my uh, if I want my content to be very easily indexed by the search engines I want to add that information I can specify left uh, center or right for the alignment of this picture uh, I'm going to choose left because I want to show you how the uh, how text can flow around an image and then I'm going to say link that to the media file. I have several options here. A custom URL if I want to uh, make this picture a link that somebody can click on to go to another website or another location um, or, or even a location within my website. The media file which simply brings up the full size media file or, or an attachment page and this is a page that WordPress creates for the attachment that's going to show it full size but also provides uh, some additional information around it. So I'm going to choose, uh, we'll choose attachment page so you can see what that looks like. I'm going to say let's just uh, include a thumbnail for now and uh, insert it into the post. Okay, so it does that. Now if I put additional text around this, what we want to do is we want to show how that um, can flow around it. So uh, do that. It's not one to let us do that. Okay, one thing like I showed you in the last demo, sometimes you have to click over to the text. Now I can add my text <laughs> oh, down here. So the quick brown fox. And just to get some more, I'm going to just quickly copy that. it. Control V to paste that and then let's preview that and just see how that looks. Okay so you see that the text flowed to the right of the picture. If I uh, click on the picture it's going to take me to an attachment page that is generated for it. Okay and it has the information that I added there. So attachment pages, they can even be commented on and so on. These are pages that are automatically generated by WordPress uh, for any media that you incorporate in, in your post uh, itself. I'm backing up now. Alright, so uh, I can go ahead and publish that now and it's going to show up as a new post in my blog. So if I go, I'm going to go back over here to my front end click on blog and there we are. Okay, it's that easy to incorporate images uh, and I encourage you to play with the options for images so that you get a feel for for how that's accomplished. Okay, the next thing that I want to show you 
is I want to show you how to uh, to control the appearance of this sidebar over here. There's a lot of there are a lot of widgets being included over here right now that may or may not be of interest to you. You'll notice this meta uh, area is allows you to to uh, get to the site admin functionality or the back end of your website. Uh, you have a bunch of other inf uh, things here. Typically, these things are not things that you want to appear on your website, and so uh, we want to be able to turn those things off. So we're going to go to the dashboard, okay? And I'm going to go down here and under appearance, I'm going to select widgets because these are widget the sidebars and the bottom are widget areas. In fact, you can see how many different widget areas there are in your uh, in, in the mantra theme and so we're going to get rid of those that we don't want so we're going to get rid of the search uh, one we'll leave recent posts because it's nice to see what what we've posted posted recently we may or may not be interested in seeing uh, the recent comments that people have made on on um, on uh, things that we have posted so and uh, archives is optional categories is optional and the meta area so I'm going to take those out and that's going to clean things up a little bit I, I could remove these as well if I didn't want them there's also a second widget area sidebar one um, if we had another sidebar sidebar two fourth widget area and sidebar two and first footer widget area second footer widget area etc now there are widgets over here um, these uh, there are many different if you go out and add additional plugins uh, you will find many other uh, widgets that you can put in uh, over here so a custom menu for instance if I wanted to create a menu that was just a subset of the pages uh, I could do that this way text arbitrary text or HTML I find this useful if I just want to provide a little bit of information a tag cloud can be useful to show the most used tags in your blog if you're doing a blog site so these are different widgets that can simply be added by dragging them into a widget area so uh, just for grins if I wanted to create a tag cloud or excuse me an RSS feed and I wanted to put it in the uh, first footer widget area I could do that just simply by dragging it over here like this well, I may have to make it bigger sorry about that and then drag it down here first widget, widget area okay so I can enter the RSS feed URL here uh, for the feed or whatever okay I was just off uh, searching and finding a, a valid feed URL to use here so we're going to use this one top stories from uh, the BBC uh, website and so here's BBC headlines and uh, we're going to try this see if that works any better yeah there we go okay now if I go back to my website okay and I get F5 what I'll see is my things have changed over here okay I only have the recent posts and recent comments archives and categories and if I go down I should see in the footer I see my BBC headlines which could have I could have put them in a uh, sidebar area uh, sidebar widget area but I elected to put them in the footer number one footer widget area and so that's why you see it right here the point of all that being that there are many different widgets you'll be able to find even more calendar widgets and so on that can be put into the widget areas you can eliminate uh, widgets that you are not interested in or that you don't want to show on your site you can ex change the order of these by dragging them around and uh, have complete control over what appears in your sidebar uh, sidebars if you have more than one or your footer area.